Hey guys, Engineer Wannabe here. How are you? Hope you are well. Uh, my name is Sanji, and today we're going to be reviewing Artem Straps. So Artem Straps actually reached out to me and asked if I would like to review some of their straps. Uh, there's a bit of a funny story <laughs> that goes with that. Um, and I accepted and they sent me a bunch of straps. Uh, we'll kind of go into that story while we're doing the strap review, looking at the straps. But I uh, just wanted to quickly do a wristwatch check. Uh, the watch that's been on my wrist uh, the past few days is, of course, the Grand Seiko SBGA415. Um, this is the Grand Seiko Seasons Winter, uh, Winter Edition. <laughs> we'll talk about all the, the points of uh, conflict of interest, possible conflicts of interest, and, and I'll, I'll let you know everything uh, while we're looking at the straps. So let's flip the camera and do that right now. Okay guys, so here are the straps and the watches uh, by extension, the watches and the straps. Before we fully get into the review, let me just uh, give you the story. I was actually looking to purchase Artem straps myself. I generally, when I review stuff, I purchase them myself and uh, I was looking to purchase Artem straps. It just so happened that coincidentally, Artem straps reached out to me and asked if I would like to try out one of their straps. I was about to buy it and I, I got this uh, this offer. So I took that offer. Um, I was expecting one strap. They asked me what, uh, what size I would want. And I said, I'll take the 20 because it comes in the small. They actually sent me three different straps and a deployant. So this is that deployment. We'll talk about it later. Uh, I was super uh, grateful because, uh, you know, I got to try multiple different straps, put them on multiple different watches, different stitching and stuff like that. It was it was very generous. And uh, I just want you guys to know all that because, uh, you know, hey, subconsciously, my view might be skewed because this review is uh, positive as well. So uh, now that you guys know all that, we can get into the review itself. Uh, so here I have uh, the gray stitched Artem strap, 20 millimeter lug width on the extra short. I've got a small wrist. Um, this has the gray, uh, like I said, the gray stitching and uh, no quick release spring bars because I don't like them. Uh, one of the results of having a small wrist is that those quick release spring bar bolts show up. Um, I also, tend to want to use my own spring bars although these straps do come with spring bars um, as you can see here and they're they're pretty good spring bars um, they fit perfectly uh, they're of a good thickness uh, so I would not be hesitant to use these spring bars on any uh, any watch I know a few people have talked about needing to break them in I haven't had that issue they were really supple uh, from the get-go maybe a little bit of uh, wiggling but uh, other than that they they broke in really quickly especially having this deploying clasp I think aided that uh, breaking period reduced that breaking period quite a bit uh, so yes let's uh, talk about these straps uh, so this is a sailcloth material and it's got a stitching on all of their their models uh, it tapers from 20 to 18 sure if that's visible there there you go should be visible they have multiple different lengths uh, and multiple different lug width lug sizes now the lengths are um, hit or miss uh, if you need it in a different size I would have preferred to have uh, 19s because most of my watches are actually 19s I would have taken 19s in an extra short but at the time of this recording that does not exist <laughs> so um, I took 20s in extra short. Well, I took 120 in extra short and I got three, which was super nice. <laughs> 20 in extra short is perfect for my six and a quarter inch wrist. The standard size will probably fit a wrist as small as six and a half inches, depending on the watch that uh, you have. But um, the extra short will fit a wrist as small as six and a, I think 5.9 inch wrist. So. Uh, the extra short will will do pretty well for most people, uh, and I think I I like the look of it not having a tail in the back uh, sticking out the back, uh, the other side of your arm. Um, I I prefer not seeing a tail, but uh, I mean I, I don't mind a tail. But just so you guys know, one of the issues that I have is this buckle. Now this this buckle is very nice. It's uh, finished 
way better than most buckles would be finished. I mean, look at that uh, brushed and polished facets or brushed area with polished facets here. Um, very high quality polishing as well. The only problem here is if you look at this uh, side profile, this buckle is dead flat. <laughs> like this, uh, this crossbar or whatever you would call it. I tend to call it crossbar because soccer and this looks like a goal post. Um, uh, the crossbar here is not sunken in. So this sticks out like a sore thumb uh, for me, for my use case scenario, this sticks out like a sore thumb at the bottom of my wrist. Um, one way to mitigate that was I, I just got an aftermarket buckle. So one point of improvement here uh, is having like a bit of an indentation here on the crossbar. That would increase comfort greatly. So um, Artem, if you guys are listening, um, you guys should totally consider that. That would make this buckle exquisite. I really love the look of this buckle. I just can't can't use it. Let's talk a bit about the back of these straps. I'm going to use this one. The back of these straps have a very thin layer of rubber and it is very comfortable. Um, you don't feel these stitches. Uh, they're not abrasive on your wrist. If you, you had bare uh, sailcloth, I think it would be very abrasive, uh, but this is very nice. A very nice uh, logo stamp there as well. Now, if you want to take a look at the thickness of the strap, it does taper. My calipers measured this to be around six millimeters and it tapers down to around three, two and a half to three millimeters on this end. Another very nice touch increases comfort greatly. If this was six millimeters all the way through, it would be a bit of a disaster. <laughs> it will probably take forever to break in. Uh, let's talk about this. We really got to talk about this. So this is something I've never seen before. Random Rob uh, did a really great video on this as well. Uh, this is this uh, deployant. Um, they call it the RM style deployant. So I'm guessing it's got something to do with Richard Meal. I, I know nothing about Richard Meal other than they're kind of ugly uh, for, for my personal taste at least. This is like a leaf spring mechanism and there's no push button or traditional clasping system. There's just this spring that holds the, um, the, the strap in place. And it's, it's really nice. It's really cool to take on, put on and take off. Um, very comfortable as well. It's polished on the underside, finished really well. Um, and uh, this might be a worthwhile upgrade if you're interested in deployments. Um, but while I do enjoy that and the, the novelty of that, uh, I do prefer this strap in a tang buckle, um, just a traditional tang buckle. Forgot to mention that they sent me this really cool spring bar tool as well. Looks like it's really high quality. I've not used it. Uh, if you guys are wondering, this is a 19 millimeter lug width watch. I squeezed um, this 20 millimeter watch in. That's one thing I wanted to talk about actually. Generally speaking, this is not going to be squeezable. Uh, it's very stiff. They've um, used a lot of cement of some sort to attach this. Um, to attach this rubber backing to this before the stitching, I'm guessing. And uh, and there's a lot of cement reinforcing this, uh, this lug or the spring bar hole. So this is as hard as a rock. Now, the only reason I was able to get it into this Zenith El Primero um, A384, which has a theoretically 19 millimeter lug width is that you can actually see where I squeezed that uh, lug hole, actually. Ooh, crazy. Anyway, um, is the fact that this actually has a 19.4 millimeter lug opening, which I found really strange, but it let me put the strap in. So I was able to squeeze it just enough to get it in there. And uh, I'm pretty pretty stoked about that because I love this combination. Um, and that's, uh, that's kind of the story here, uh, guys. Like, generally, I'm a leather strap guy. I don't like rubber straps. Um, I've had this imitation sailcloth strap for a while. They call it a sailcloth. They call it a sailcloth effect, uh, but actually it's a rubber strap that's been textured to feel like a sailcloth. I mean, it was okay. It just wasn't comfortable. I generally don't like non-leather straps, but this is something else. It's really comfortable. 
Uh, I'm not quite sure about the durability. Just to let you guys know, I've owned this, I've had these straps for about a month and a half now. So I'm not sure how this will wear. I mean, it's a really thin piece of rubber. I'm sure it'll last a long time, uh, but time will tell how this, uh, this will last. Of course, I will report back as time goes on because I'm gonna be using these straps. They're that good. Um, they've stayed voluntarily on my watches. I've been uh, making excuses to wear them. So, uh, yeah, guys, hope this was really helpful for you. Uh, this was, as I mentioned, uh, three straps that were sent to me by Artem themselves. Thank you very much, Artem Straps. Uh, very kind of you guys. You didn't have to treat me as, as well as you did. But guys, uh, everyone who's watching right now, I just want to let you know that you are uh, valuable. You're precious. There is no replacing you. You were of infinite value. And I do appreciate you. Remember, guys, time is running out. So make the best of it. And uh, thank you all for watching. I, I do appreciate you all. Take care. Stay safe out there. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye, guys.